Alex, talk us through what the last couple of days has been like at the club. Well, the start Saturday with the game, it was disappointing. Disappointing for everybody, us supporters, players. So, um, you know, we had to try and get over that pretty quickly. And then on Sunday, I wasn't in on Sunday, I, I, I was at a CPD event, so I found out the news that uh, the manager and Liam had lost their job, so, you know, it wasn't a great day. Um, and then got the phone call just saying that, you know, I was to go in and take it as interim manager, which I accepted. Um, of course I would, because I've been, I've been at club a long time and, I, and I've did that role before, so that was that was an easy decision for me. Um, and then I just had to kind of get around all the staff and make sure they were okay as well, because it affects everybody, you know, not just um, the players, the staff as well, because, you know, we were a close-knit team and we've lost two members of the team, so uh, it's not, not been a great two days. And then on Monday, just had to try and go in and pick, pick the players up and, and, and make sure there's a focus on the game because um, it's a massive game for us. We'll, we'll try to find the first three points of the season um, and, and that has to be the focus from now on. You know, everything that's happened happened. We can't change it. It's, it's gone now. We're all absolutely gutted for our, you know, two members of staff, uh, Stephen and Liam, because... Um, you know, for, I think for what they've done for the club as coaches and as players, I think the fans will, you know, really, really respect that, um, and and they hold them, you know, in such high regard as as we did, as, as the players did as well. So yeah, it's been a tough couple of days, but but, but listen, we're looking forward to the game Wednesday, and that's what we need to focus on. As you say, you've been in this position before. What have you been told this time in regards to what your role looks like, how long it may last, and so on? Uh, just the same, take, take it for the, this game, um, the club then will, 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 will try and find a new management team. Um, and I think I said it before, the last time we were looking for a new manager when Callum came in, the club have done a good job in that over the years, so I think you've just got to let the club go through the process, which over the years they've been pretty good at picking managers, it's been really successful and so was Stephen as well. Because um, he kept us up, we've got to remember that. A difficult time, Stephen kept us up. He'd done a great job. Um, results haven't been great this season, we recognise that. But I think the process that the club will go through now, we've just lo got to let them get on with it. Because before um, they were picking managers, they've been pretty successful at it, and I'm sure they will again. Might that process look a bit different this time, given in the past there's generally been a bit of continuity here with the, the next appointment? Yeah, it might, it might be, but it's a good club to come and work for. You know, we've been in the, we've been in that top league for many, many years. The Cups we've won, we've been in Europe. The players that have moved on to, you know, bigger clubs that came through the youth, so, you know, it, it's still a good club to come, this club, even though the position we're in, there's plenty of games to go to the end of the season. Um, and we'll be trying to show that you know we are going to be up for Wednesday night and, and trying to pick up three points. What kind of manager do you think the club needs? I mean, first of all, are you in contention at all, or are you just temporary uh, interim? I'm just. I've just been told I'm interim for this game, and you know, as I say, the process will be we've got to let the club go and pick a, a new management team. I don't know. I'll, I'll not be part of the process. Um, I'll just tie in with where Audi, Stan and, and, and the directors and the chairman um, and they'll, they'll keep me updated on it um, but I won't, I won't be involved in it because as I, say, I said before the process that goes through they have, they have done a really good job in that before so they, that's, that's nothing to do with me. And the kind of uh, manager you think the club needs would, would be what, what, kind of, what kind of profile? Oh, what kind of profile? <laughs> I've not, I've not, I've not really time to think about that. There's plenty of good managers out there. Um, whether it's British manager, I don't know. Whether it's a, a foreign manager, I don't know. But there's, there's, there's plenty of managers who want this job. Um, I'm sure after it was announced, um, the, the chairmans and Roddies and start the, the phones would have been buzzing with applicants for the job. So as I said before, it's a good club and, it, and it's a good job for a manager to come into St. Johnson, even though the position we're in. 
I like that. Sorry, I was going to say that the, the task, I guess, would be to keep the club up, given the position that, that they're in just now. That how how important is that to, to the club and to to the city and and, and the players and, and the staff? You've oh no, in that top flight. Yeah, place. it's massive because we've been we've been part of the the, the top league for many years, uh, and we and we want to stay part of that. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the, the first part. Will be to try and get three points on Wednesday, and then we'll look at it after that. Um, Whether they appoint somebody, you know, after that they've, they've got we've got three home games, so it'd be a good time to get to get somebody in. Um, as I say, the, the process will be there, but it's important to keep because it's important for the fans. We've, we've been successful in all, all, all the years I've been here. I've seen the club go from strength to strength, and it will go from strength to strength again. Um, it's probably just a little bit more difficult with the the position we're in at the moment, but. You know, a couple, a, a couple of wins, and we'll, we'll start moving up. The boys will get a bit of confidence, the team, the staff, the fans, and you just need a bit of momentum to keep you going, to get you going again. Alec, you said you're going to be very separate from the process in terms of bringing mm -hmm. in a new manager. If results, though, were to go well under your spell, could you have your, your arm twisted? Would you at all be persuaded to, to be the permanent manager? Um. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure in that one because I'm only thinking about the game on Wednesday at the, at the moment. That's the only thing that's gone through my mind. Um, working with you, you know Craig Hinchcliffe, that's the only thing we've been told is to focus on this one game. That's what we'll do, and then the process will be will have begun. You know, yesterday when it was announced that Stephen and Liam were leaving the role, um, that process has already started. I, I, I'll not be part of it. I'm just going to focus on Wednesday um, because we've got a, a tough game against a good Kilmarnock side um, and, and I know Derek well, I know he'll, he'll have them well prepared. They've had two good results, so you know we want to try and make it as hard as they can coming to uh, Perth, our home ground, to, to, to try and get you know a bit of confidence back in the fans but a bit of confidence back in the players because we've got good players in that team um, and, and we need to pick up three points. And just on the, kind of the mood and confidence of the players, the, the parting manager Stephen McLean mm -hmm. at the weekend was, was quoted afterwards as, as saying that some players had, had chucked it at, at the weekend's game. Is that an assessment you would agree with or can you just describe what is morale like at the moment? No, morale's good. Um, the boys were in yesterday and then I, I spoke to Stephen and Liam yesterday after um, it had been announced and, and he says, you know, Everything was was positive. Obviously, the result wasn't positive on the Saturday, and the manager says, you know, what he says. It's he's the manager. So, but and on the Sunday, it was it was positive. They went through the game, they went through, you know, the good things we were doing in the game. So, the mood kind of carried on from yesterday after. It. Obviously, when they heard they were down again, the players, and then it was my job and Hinchy's job to get and pick them up again today. We've we've, we've tried to do that, and we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do that. And we'll try and make it, you know, make sure it's positive going into the game on Friday because I think that's what the fans will want. That's what my task will be to make sure, you know, we're well prepared for Wednesday because we've got a tough game against Kilmarnock. And just on that game, what do you think it takes to get a positive result? And do you think you can win the game? Well, we're going to have to score goals. You know, that's that's what's going to it's going to take. We didn't get any on Saturday, so. We're going to have to create chances, you know, get the fans, you know, cliche off their seats, um, build pressure, get more shots at goal, and, and take more chances when they come, um, because it will be a difficult game against Kilmarnock. Um, but listen, circumstances are, but that's what we find ourselves in. I've just got to take the team for this game, see what happens after that, and then and then move on from there. You spoken to Stephen since yesterday? Yes, I, sp I spoke to Stephen. Yeah, and uh, Liam was the same. He said, "Come back to me at any point, Alec. If you need any, you know, any advice, anything." So, you know, uh, I, I, and I will go back to them if if, if 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 I need to go back for any advice, um, especially what happened yesterday, because it was a very positive meeting, and that and that was that was good to hear. In terms of what you've seen of Stephen so far, are you confident he'll bounce back and get another? Yes, team? I said to him, I said, "Don't don't let this." Disappointment um, hinder you in any way because I know he's a good coach. He's a young manager, 
you know, it doesn't always go as smoothly as you want it in your first managerial role. And we've got to remember, he kept he kept us up with the with the results. He got the team. You know, that was a hard task for him. So he got over that really well. So that's a big tick in terms of Stephen's managerial role. So I just hope it doesn't it doesn't hinder him. Um, I, I'm sure it won't because he's a big character, um, and I'm sure he'll go from strength to strength. Can you put your finger on? Where you think it, it, it went wrong? I'm thinking about maybe to the, the summer. There was obviously a couple of bad results in the League Cup, losing four here to Stirling. Yeah. But can you put your finger on just what went wrong so quickly? That was a big changeover in players. That was something Stephen had to deal with, um, and you know that 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 happens at, at some clubs. But he just had to deal with that. So that was that was new to Stephen coming in, and and we spoke about it when, before the season started. We knew it was going to be different. Because it's different when you just got the team for six games or five games, whatever it was, and take the team for a season. So Stephen knew that, um, and we just we, we haven't started well. It's you know put your finger on it. Uh, 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 you know there's probably many things that I could go through. Probably you know there's, there's I think we just got to concentrate on not what's happened, what what can happen now, which is the game on Wednesday. And that, that has to be everybody's focus, fans, the players, you know, the board up the stair, that's what that's what they want me to talk about is, you know, keep keeping the players positive and that's what we've we've got to do. Alex, what's what gives you the confidence that this squad of players uh, can dig mm -hmm. the team out of the hole that they're in? Because I see I, I watch them train every day. Um and I, and you know, I see all the good things they're doing. You know, the, the thing that we've not done well is score goals. So that's the thing that needs to change. We need to score more goals. It's plain for everybody to see. We have to score more goals. We have to create more chances. You know, and that's a that's a collective thing. It's not just we can't just blame the centre forwards. They're not scoring goals. We've got to we've got to go through the process. That's why we're looking at you know previous games and what we can do to be better at scoring goals because that's what wins you games, scoring goals. And that's what we've got to that's what we've got to do on the on Wednesday against Kilmarnock. Team news for Wednesday. Anybody in or out from the weekend? No, uh, Dan Phillips is, is is back, so that, that that's good. Um, and I, I, no 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 more team news apart, apart from the ones that have been training and playing. Um, hopefully everybody comes through it today, which I, th I think they will. With a good session, and you know, hopefully we'll have another good session tomorrow. And but they'll be prepared. They'll be prepared. They know they know what they need to do. And you know, it's get a result. We need to get a result. Is there a feeling in in the camp that um, they need to kind of step up, partly for Maka? Yes, they'll be hurting. Every, everybody's hurting that we've lost uh, Stephen and, and, and Liam, and um, because they were big characters. You know, they were they were a massive part of St Johnson for many many years. So we're all hurting a little bit. You know, whether. Yeah, we we'll, know we'll go out tomorrow saying, "Oh, we we need to do this for Liam and Stephen." That that will not be the case. We need to we need to get a result for the club, and that's what Stephen and Liam would have wanted. I, I'll, I'll probably speak to them tonight at some point. They will want that. They they won't you know want us to go out and get a result for them. You know they'll they'll be moving on, and, and hopefully they'll be they'll be back in football soon. Um, but we'll be concentrating on. You know, just getting the result. That's we, we have to get that first result, and that will build confidence in the team, and give the fans a bit of confidence as well.